We are less than 24 hours away from the astrological event of the decade. A total solar eclipse will be visible to more than 32 million people in North America. So how much will it be, how much of that eclipse will be visible from here in Southern Colorado? Our meteorologist Casey Dorn breaks it down for us. Monday's eclipse is going to be exciting if we could see it, but it sure seems to have a lot of numbers associated with it. What does it all mean? Let's break it down. Monday's eclipse is a total eclipse for much of the country. Check out our website and social media channels for a story I did earlier this week explaining that. But in short, for some folks, the sun will be completely covered. Not here in southern Colorado, though. You might hear two different numbers for how covered the sun is during the eclipse. It's complicated, but I'm going to walk you through it. First, let's talk about magnitude. Magnitude is an astronomy term. The sun and moon are spheres which have a diameter like a circle. That's when you draw a line from one side of the circle to the other. So magnitude is really simple. It's how much of the moon's diameter is covering the sun's diameter. So you might have heard that Colorado Springs will have a 74% eclipse coverage. That's this eclipse's magnitude. But that's not the number that matters to you or me. The thing that we care about is surface obscuration. So let's break it down and call it area. How much of the surface of the sun is being covered by the moon? A quarter, half, this is the number that you and I care about for this eclipse. Magnitude is more useful for astronomers. So now that we know what we're talking about, let's look at the maximum area covered by the eclipse in your city. Now, of course, all this assumes we can see the eclipse at all, but overall, in Pueblo, we'll see 69.6% .6 of the sun covered by the moon at the peak. The further north that you are, the less of the sun will be covered. In Fort Collins, only 62.8% will be covered. So the best viewing is going to be in the southern tier, Walsenburg, Trinidad, Springfield, and the southeastern plains. It'll also be earlier for our peak, the further south that you are, Pueblo at 12.38 p.m. for the peak, Fort Collins at 12.41. So let's talk about the current forecast. It's going to be a cold afternoon, relatively speaking, in southern Colorado with temperatures in the mid 40s to lower 50s and plenty of clouds around. These numbers here, these percentages, this is the percent of the sky that will be covered by clouds as of right now, according to latest model guidance at the peak of the eclipse. So overall, the southeastern plains are looking the best right now, but you're going to want to stay tuned to additional forecast updates through the weekend and to early next week as we track where the best place to go to see the eclipse is. For now, in studio, meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5.